CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From the hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at CNET.com slash live. Hi, I'm Scott Stein, Senior Editor at CNET, and is $199 the new entry-level price for a color e-reader tablet? Certainly seems to be the case because the Kindle Fire was $199 last year, and now the 8GB Nook tablet has debuted at $199, the same price, with a set of specs that matches the Kindle Fire on a number of levels. Last year's Nook tablet was 16 gigabytes in its storage capacity and cost $250. This 8GB version halves the internal storage. It also halves the amount of RAM down to 512 megabytes as opposed to 1 gig. Now, RAM you may not really notice. In fact, on our test unit here, it seems like apps work reasonably well. It's a matter of expectation and relative zippiness. But storage, you will notice. In fact, that 8 gigabytes of storage, only some of it is user accessible. The way that Barnes & Noble breaks down storage on the 8 gigabyte tablet, 1.5 gigabytes is accessible for the Barnes & Noble Nook store. That means apps and books. That's not a lot of storage space. Where'd the rest go? Well, some of it is in the system software. And then there's 4 gigabytes that's set to be user accessible. Now, as you may know, if you are a Barnes & Noble Nook tablet user, or you may not know, there are no cloud music download services or video download services like you get on the Kindle Fire. Sure, there's Netflix, Hulu+, Plus, Pandora, a lot of ways to stream music, if you want music files or full-length videos that are not streamed via Wi-Fi, you're going to have to sideload that, which means you connect this to a PC and take those files and put them onto your Nook tablet. That's where that 4 gigabytes of storage comes in. Plus, you do get a micro SD card slot. That's a big deal because the Kindle Fire has no expandable storage. This is a micro SD card slot that's expandable up to 32 gigs like the Nook tablet before it. Now, the advantages of the Nook tablet versus the Kindle Fire, one, the quality of the screen. We find that it's a little bit better than the Kindle Fire, and Netflix looks even a little bit sharper streaming on the Nook tablet. And that's certainly something that Barnes & Noble has touted on the Nook tablet devices that have come out in the past year. Now, the cons, you're not going to have that cloud music and video service, so if you want to download a movie, say, and watch it on a plane, it's a little harder to do on this. In fact, it's not possible unless you start using things like Netflix and Hulu Plus right now, and those are subscription-based services. Plus, there's a question of your ecosystem. Obviously, wherever you have the most books or magazines or apps, that's probably where you want to go. And as far as apps go, it's like the Kindle Fire. It's a curated selection of apps, maybe not quite as diverse as what's on the Kindle Fire, but you've got a lot of your major games covered, Angry Birds, of course, and a lot of others. Now. At the same time, there is the Nook Color, making it even more confusing. That's the previous generation Color 7-inch tablet that looks nearly identical and costs $169 now, dropping the price a little bit. It also has 8 gigabytes of storage. So what's the difference? The screen's not quite so great. The processor's a little slower. And honestly, for a 30 buck difference, you might just want to go with the newest generation one for app compatibility. The real question for users is going to come down to if you're going to buy a 16 gigabyte or an 8 gigabyte version. That attributable storage could be a big deal. Allocating only 1.5 gigabytes of storage to Nook Store apps is very limiting. Now on the 16 gigabyte version, that jumps up to about 12 gigabytes, and that's a lot more space. Frankly, the Nook tablet is really nicely designed. I actually like it a little bit more in its overall feel than a Kindle Fire because of its clean lines, its dedicated volume buttons off to the side, and it's got that fun little carabiner over there. I think it's cute. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the 8 gigabyte version of the Nook tablet that just became available at $199. CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From the hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at CNET.com slash live.